Today we're making live goldfish soup. You've heard of live goldfish iced tea, but now it's time for the live goldfish soup recipe. Very high in protein, very high in omega-3 fatty acids. Here's how you do it. Like any soup, we're gonna start with some broth. Now this broth is basically just goldfish tank water. It's got that flavor. Next, you get your little net and you go into the tank and you begin fishing for the contents of the soup. This soup is entirely made out of baby goldfish. And just like the live goldfish iced tea, we're only getting baby goldfish that are a little ugly, that are a little funky and have these little deformities. This one right here is a perfect example. So we're gonna scoop him up and we're gonna put him in the bowl soup. You will need to be pretty patient because there's a lot of goldfish and it's kind of tedious to sort through them all and you have to look at them very closely and bend over and you know raise each individual goldfish into the bowl but you know you do it long enough you'll have a bowl full of goldfish and you'll have a wonderful nice meal. The new viewers of this channel are probably freaking out right now thinking what the heck is wrong with this guy? Is he actually gonna eat his own goldfish? And the uh, returning viewers that have seen my channel before are probably thinking there's Luke doing his stupid live goldfish iced tea, live goldfish eating jokes again. Uh, of course, I am not actually going to be eating these fish. No goldfish were harmed in the making of this video, but just like last time, after the camera stopped rolling, there are no guarantees there. Now, the real purpose of this video is to educate you guys on culling baby goldfish. And for those of you that don't know, culling baby goldfish means selectively euthanizing them. Now, I know that sounds awful, but when you really look into it, it makes sense. You know, goldfish naturally have thousands of babies at a single time. That's because not all of them are meant to survive. And in a captive environment, it's just not feasible to raise all those thousands of babies up to adult sizes. You really only choose and select the best quality ones with the best genetics, with no deformities that fit the standard of the breed, and you only choose that small minority to actually raise to a larger size. Um, there's just no feasible way to raise all these to a larger size. There's no market for these you know, deformed fish, and it's not ethical really as a breeder to sell a bunch of deformed fish to your customers. No one really, really, no one really wants to buy them either. So in this video, I'm gonna go over a couple examples of which deformities I look for in the goldfish when I'm selecting them to call. I'm also gonna go over what I'm looking for in the ones I wanna keep, and I'm just gonna briefly talk about how I actually do the euthanizing in the end. Uh, I am not going to show it on camera, but I will talk about it. Common deformity number one, mouth stuck open. So this guy right here has, you know, really messed up mouth genetics. And its mouth is permanently stuck open, is very skinny, and it can't really even move its mouth. So this is going to make it, you know, really difficult to eat and just difficult to move water, you know, through the mouth and through the gills. This is not a goldfish you want to raise to a larger size. Um, this one is not, you know, as common as other deformities I'm going to go into, but I did find a good, you know, 10 or so of these ones in this batch with these weird mouth formations. This guy also has a deformed dorsal fin. You can see on his back, it's just one spike coming off the top of his body. So he really did not get a good roll of the dice when it comes to the genetic lottery. He has two, two good reasons to call, the mouth and the messed up dorsal. Speaking of dorsal fins, this is the next common deformity I want to go over. Now, this was the biggest deformity I saw in this batch. So this is a batch of Ranchu goldfish. And the breed of Ranchu goldfish are actually not supposed to have any dorsal fin at all. But I saw a lot of partial dorsal fins, a lot of spikes, a lot of just little nubs of, of fin on the top of the dorsal. Um, and then, you know, some with no dorsal at all, as it should be. Um, and then some with nice, full, healthy dorsals. So normally for a ranch or goldfish batch, you just keep the ones with no dorsals. But I did see a fair amount with these nice full dorsal fins as well. So I decided I actually am going to keep and raise the full dorsals and see how they turn out. But everything with a partial dorsal or a spike like this guy here, I am calling those. So those were a large portion of this batch that I pulled out and, uh, and put into the call cup. Now, because I'm going to raise some with full dorsal fins, I can't technically call them Ranchu goldfish because, like, the most defining feature of a Ranchu goldfish is its lack of a dorsal fin. So, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to call them yet. I might just call them a short bodied Aranda because that's basically what a Ranchu with a dorsal fin is. It's a short bodied Aranda, almost like a Yun Bao. Um, but I think I'm just going to call them a short bodied Aranda. So, another trait or deformity I look for in calling goldfish is their size. So if you're a small, short person, swipe away now. Um, but if there are ones that are significantly smaller than all the rest of them, um, I do pick them out to call. And this is because if they're super small like this, it's likely there's something wrong with them. It's likely maybe they have a mouth deformity. Maybe there's something wrong with them internally. It's not allowing them to 
process food correctly or their organs don't correctly work um, and they'll probably end up dying pretty soon on their own so this is almost more just like a like a mercy mercy killing instead of letting them starve to death and shrivel up to nothing um, I take them out and I, I euthanize them some of them definitely could live on but just grow at a slower rate but then again I only want to raise the one with the best genetics it's only worth utilizing my spacing capacity to raise the very very best the next common deformity I look for is how is their swimming do they suck at swimming if you're a fish, by definition, like you swim, you gotta swim. So if you are a bad swimmer, uh, that's that's it. Uh, you know, you're not meant to make it far in life as a fish. And this fellow right here, he's not a good swimmer. And if they're bad swimmers when they're small, you can bet when they grow and they get some mass and they get a little fatter, they're gonna be really, really bad swimmers. Then they won't be able to get around. So definitely, if you see bad swimmers, um, you know, they just they have to wiggle very vigorously to move. They, they can't control their buoyancy. They're stuck on the bottom. They're stuck on the top. They're, they're just all twisted up like this guy. Uh, that is one that's definitely for calling. Another common deformity I look for is the smoothness of their back curvature. So whether I'm keeping a full dorsal one or no dorsal one, the back curvature has to be smooth. And this one right here is an example of one that's not quite smooth. There's a little bump in it. Um, so I'm looking to only keep, you know, the very best and the very best have nice, smooth, curved backs. So far, I've gone over their mouth shape and function. I've gone over their swimming. I've gone over their size. I've gone over their dorsal fin. I've gone over the smoothness of their back. What else left is there to look for? Well, there's actually quite a few factors. Um, you do also want to look from above to see the straightness of the spine, but I didn't record any of that viewing. Um, you do also want to look at, you know, their tail fin. Is their tail fin evenly split? Is it completely split down, down the center? And are both sides of that tail fin evenly shaped and are they the correct shape there are actually a lot of little tiny criteria to look for that's why you could have you know a batch of a thousand of these guys and really only maybe keep 10 uh, sometimes it is like that that strict of a calling you have to do um, it really depends on the breeder and how strict they want to be and now the question on everyone's mind what do I do with all these calls once I've separated them well as I said I do euthanize them and you're probably wondering well how do you do that well, actually, a lot of people do feed them to larger predatory fish. In fact, if you put these in the tank with their parents, their parents would likely eat all of them up. Don't ask me how I know that. But the way I typically call goldfish is once I have all the goldfish separated out, I get an essential oil called clove oil. Now, this almost acts like an anesthesia for fish, but if brought to a high enough dosage and exposed for a high enough time, it does peacefully just put them to sleep and then they do pass in that in that sleep. And I take a couple drops of that, I put it in a bag of water, I shake that around, and then I add a small amount of it uh, to to the cup of goldfish and allow them to you know get a little sleepy and then I add a little more and then I add a little more of that mixture um, until eventually I add all of it and I just let them be in there for an hour or so and eventually you'll notice they all do start floating up to the top and even after they float they still might be alive uh, if you were to expose them to normal water so I leave them in there for a good hour maybe even two hours until I'm sure that they're all gone. This video may have been shocking for a lot of people to watch and made you feel very uncomfortable and you know I totally get it uh, but if you've ever bought or had any kind of domesticated fish this is how they came into existence. If this video bothered you so much that you'd never want to buy a live fish again, then you can just purchase a Tubby Toby plushie, which requires the death of no fish. So these are linked in the description. I will be shipping them out in June. Go check them out. Thank you for watching. Luke's Goldies out.